Hi, Triangles group. In today's follow-up task, you are going to be practicing division. So division here means to divide. If you divide something, that means you say you have a whole, you're splitting it up into a number of groups. Today, we're going to be specifically practicing dividing into two. As you can see, this symbol over here means divide. And we have number two. So we're going to just be practicing dividing a number into two equal parts. Up here, this is just a warm up. This is pretty easy. If you have six divided by two, you're taking six and you're splitting it in half. So what is the half of six? Same as with these numbers here. 14 divided by two, you're taking this number, you're halving it. What's the half of 14? Over here, 10, 11, 12, you can see it says times two. So times is used, this symbol, is when we are doing multiplication. The difference between these two, these are actually the opposite of each other. Dividing, so if you look at the symbol closely, it looks like kind of like a knife cutting something into two pieces. So whenever you see the symbol, thinking in your head, okay, a knife cutting something into two, I'm dividing, I'm sharing something into two, uh, two equal parts. Whereas times, the symbol means multiplying. So if you multiply something by two, that means you're doubling it. Okay. So what number times two will, equals, will equal 12? So that means what number, if you double what number, you will get 12. Over here, down here, we have a few word questions. So you will have to work through these um, during class. Let's take a look at the first question. It says, Sophie has 16 apples. She needs to place an equal number of apples in each of two boxes. How many apples will she put in each box? So we're thinking, okay, the total number is 16 apples. I have two boxes. So I'm thinking in my head, okay, I have 16 apples. I need to split the 16 apples into two boxes, into two equal groups. Each box has to have equal number of apples. So I can't have one box that has more, one box that has less. Two boxes have to be have the same number of apples. So to do this, we can use 16 divided by 2. So kind of similar to this one up here, 16 divided by 2. What is, which also means 16, the half of 16. 16 split into 2. If you can't work this out in your head, you can use materials to help you. But if you can work this out in your head, try and do so. Okay, these are all pretty similar. So read through the question, see what is the whole number, and read the question carefully to mind, find out how many groups you have to divide it into. Make sure each group that you've divided has equal numbers of items. This will be your practice task.